Hi, my name is Dennis Wonger and I'm presenting whole body control of serious parallel hybrid robots. Parallel mechanisms are becoming increasingly popular as sub mechanisms in different robots. The combination of serial and parallel architectures leads to serious parallel hybrid robots, which offer higher stiffness, accuracy and better dynamic properties than serial systems. This may be especially an advantage in humanoid robotics. However, these systems are also more complex to model and control than serial robots. Whole body control has become the standard approach for controlling humanoid robots. The existing whole body control approaches are typically designed for serial or tree type robots. Parallel mechanisms are abstracted by the means of serial chains and their kinematics and dynamics is usually resolved separately in a specialized function. A disadvantage of this procedure is that the actuator limits of the parallel mechanisms cannot be properly considered in the whole body controller, which typically models physical limits as box constraints to the underlying optimization problem. As it can be seen here, the workspace of this parallel ankle structure cannot be captured by any choice of box constraints in independent coordinates. In order to overcome this issue, we introduce a, an approach for whole body control of serious parallel hybrid robots. In contrast to the existing solutions, we model the whole body control problem in the actuation space of a serious parallel hybrid robot. As a result, we can exploit its entire workspace on position, velocity, and torque level. We evaluate our approach on different, two different humanoid robots with serious parallel architecture. We demonstrate the exploitation of the full position workspace of the RH5 robot, which performs squatting movements. First, we evaluate a whole body control approach for tree type robots. The position limits are here modeled as an in independent joint space. This way, the actuation space of the robot cannot be fully exploited and the center of mass trajectory cannot be tracked accurately because it's impaired by the position constraints. Using our whole body control approach for serious parallel hybrid robots, the position constraints are modeled in actuation space, which can be fully exploited now. In total, we obtain a 25% larger admissible task space. And as a result, the robot can form deeper squatting movements. Similarly, we evaluate the exploitation of the admissible velocity range by executing boxing movements on the RH5 minus humanoid. Using our whole body control approach for serious parallel hybrid robots, we are able to fully exploit the velocity range in actuation space and we obtain significantly larger joint space velocities. In summary, we developed a whole body control approach, which better exploits the workspace of parallel mechanisms than whole body control approaches for serial robots. The approach is generally applicable to any robot with tree type parallel or serious parallel hybrid structure. In future, we want to evaluate the effect of incorrectly modeled robot dynamics in whole body control, and we also want to bring our approach into the domain of trajectory optimization. Our approach is publicly available as open source software on github.com.